the water that came from the side of Jesus. And so there are three themes. I guess you got a flyer. Sister made a flyer up that I had given her from the, based on the book of Romans. Three themes. Tonight, freedom. Tomorrow night, uh, 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 baptism. And Tuesday night, what is yet to come. The glory of what is yet to come. Now my spirituality was formed on Greenmount Avenue. And when I came there as a young priest and had a lot of black hair, St. Anne's, and um, spent 20 some years there. I adopted a son, I raised my son on Greenmount Avenue. I was there 26 years. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. I came with a lot of heady stuff. I'm a teacher. I taught at seminary at Loyola College. So I came with a lot of heady stuff about God. And the people at Greenmount Avenue taught me to worship God with my heart and with my head. And so the psalms we picked, I picked for us to use this week, and you'll know them as we do them, are going to be tonight's great song is O Freedom, a great uh, uh, spiritual O Freedom. Before I'll be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave tonight. Tomorrow, a baptism day, none but the righteous can see God, so take me to the war. That's uh, really an old... Uh, hillbilly song from the from the Appalachian Hills. Uh, take the old uh, spiritual, American spiritual. And then on the last day, the song is one of the great uh, songs that we borrowed from the uh, Methodist tradition of uh, uh, Zion. We're marching to Zion. We're on our way to Zion. So that's what we're going to do. Each night, kind of the format will be, we'll begin with some singing and some prayer some shared prayer about adoration, and we'll end the session always with some, um, like the prayer of the faith that you call an intercessory prayer. Things we want to pray for, we'll be able to pray. Each one of us raise our concerns in the community. We'll send them up to God as we end. And here's the thing, after we begin, we'll always end in one hour. So it's 20 minutes to 8 when we started tonight. So we will be gone out of here by 20 minutes to 9. All will be to that, Sister Sonia. She's the, she's the uh, watch keeper. So let's come in prayer tonight. Let's kind of calm our spirits and, uh, and open ourselves to the power of God. I put the words on here, but you really don't need them. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, Now you know it. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because He first loved me. He is so wonderful. He is so wonderful.
We share our love, our alms with those who stand in need. We come, O oh God, some of us with hearts that are heavy. We come, O oh God, some of us with hearts that are light. We come, O oh God, we bring ourselves. The old song says, just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. That's how we come. But we also come bringing this human race with us. We are a priestly people, God. We thank you for having called us to be a priestly people in and through our baptism. We bring a broken humanity. We bring Japan. We bring Afghanistan. We bring Palestine. We bring Israel. We bring Iraq. Oh God, we bring Tunisia. We bring Libya. We bring every place where there is trouble. We bring Egypt. We bring Sudan. We know we are powerless, oh God. But we know you are able. And so we join in solidarity with every human being who suffers. We bring those in the hospital tonight, those in the nursing homes, those in the hospice beds of this city in which we live. We bring, oh God, those on the streets with violent hearts, and we bring those who are victims of violence, and those who are caught in poverty, and those who are caught in shame and disgrace and addiction. We bring them all with us, oh God, and we lay them at your feet. 